Sarah and Angela again and today we're going to be showing you a tutorial about uh, how to transfer images using wax paper. This is by far my number one post and I get the most questions about it. So I thought it would be a good thing to show you how it works uh, so that maybe it could help you do it yourself. All you really need is this wax paper um, that you get at the grocery store and another trick that I've learned over the years is these Avery labels. If you remove the label, the backing is uh, kind of like a wax paper finish and it works pretty much just like wax paper except it gives you a little more uh, rigidity when it's going through the printer. So what you want to do if you're going to use wax paper is just lay it a regular 8.5 by 11 white piece of paper or you know, scrap piece of paper over the top and then just trace the outline of the paper. And then when you're done, you're just going to cut this out and then you will have a piece of wax paper that is the size for your printer. Okay, so what you want to do first of all is have your image. And I like to go to graphicsfairy.com. She has a lot of old images that she gives away for free. They're copyrighted probably, so you want to just make sure you're just using them for personal use. But when you save the image, you want to go into some type of software and flip it so that it's when you're looking at it, it's backwards. If you use PicMonkey, that's PicMonkey.com, you can go and they have tools in there to easily, uh, it'll say rotate and then there's a few options that will show you how to flip it. So once your image is flipped, saved, you can now print. So this is just a cheap $30 inkjet printer and ink, you need an inkjet printer to do this. I have my wax paper that I have already cut and then I also put in regular paper just to kind of give it something to follow and so that also that I know how far down the wax paper needs to go and I, we'll zoom in and I'll show you a little bit better how I load it into the printer. Alright, so the way I load my paper is I have the regular paper in there and then there's this little roller down here and I just kind of pop it up to make sure that the, paper, that the wax paper is getting in there and then I stop it when it gets to the top of the paper. And then I can just hit print. And hopefully it will take it. <laughs> you never know when you're doing a video, for some reason it doesn't work the way it always does, but this seems to be doing great. And then I just let it sit there for about a minute or so, not to, not even a minute, maybe 30 seconds, just to kind of let the ink dry just a tad so it doesn't smear. Okay, so now I have my image. You want, and I have a piece of wood that I want to add it to. So you just want to lay it down where you want it, and then you don't want it to move. So, and then just kind of slowly roll your uh, straight edge. I like to use a credit card to kind of press it into the wood. But you don't really want it to smear. So that's why I just say to do it kind of lightly at first and then you can go back over it. And then you just kind of slowly work your way through over the image until you have the whole image completely pressed into the wood. And then when you take it off, it should give you the image that you printed. And now this is great to use black and white. It does work with color, but the color is a little more tricky to transfer, so I would try it multiple times on scrap wood that you don't want to use. And if you have a bigger image, you would just do it in, you know, sheets so that you could kind of line up the image. It might be a little tougher to do, but it could be done. And uh, it works great. If you wanted it to be aged a little bit, you can always sand it because once it's dry, it's on there. 
so you could sand it off a little bit to kind of give it a little more aged look but it works wonderfully if you um, have the right equipment like seriously the cheaper the printer I think the better it works so good luck and hopefully it will work great for you too